Greetings, Benjamin Shane from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a new engine has just arrived from eBay, and I just wanted to do a, a quick video on the grand unboxing. So I found this on eBay for 10 bucks, a 999 with three 10 litho cars. Now the 999 is a, uh, a different model than the standard 999, and I'll show you, which is one of the main reasons I bought this. So we've got three 10 litho cars. We have a 556 in fair condition, not terrible, but fair, complete. Wow, this stuff has been sitting for decades, as you can see. But it is complete. So a 556 caboose, let's put these over here. Get them out of the way. Then we have a Union Pacific oil tender. Now this is originally from a wind-up set, and that's the idea of these sliding couplers. So it's complete. It has plastic wheels. Interesting. And it is falling apart. So like I said, this stuff has been stored someplace for decades. I mean, years and years and years. And another oil tender, New York Central, in eh, fair condition, but it has both couplers, four wheels, and the axle. So you can clean this stuff up. It's complete. It's original. If nothing else, you can use it for parts, but uh, all this is going to clean up reasonably well. This one, uh, we'll see. Anyway, here is the locomotive. So a Marks 999, as you see, but unlike the standard 999, let me see if I can get a shot of this, in fair condition at best, as you see. I mean, it's not damaged, it's just, this is all poor storage, period. Just absolute poor storage. So, the interesting thing about it is it has no uh, front truck and there's no provision for a front truck. It also has no slides on the push rods. So this motor is actually out of a Canadian Pacific. Now the Canadian Pacific and the 999 share motors. And I guess uh, Marx did this as an expedient. I'm not really sure. But as you see, it has no slides. It has standard push rods, single reduction motor, but no provision for a front truck at all. The body, of course, has the stanchion for the rear truck. In fact, this one has a screw in it. Uh, but no rear truck and no provision for a front truck at all. The question is, well, the motor turns really smoothly. The question is, will it run? So let me get the camera off the tripod. This is the fun part, playing with a uh, new locomotive. Now, this thing has been sitting for, you can see the rust and the oxide on the body. This thing has been sitting for decades, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. It's really difficult to say. But when you get this much oxide and paint loss from the oxide, it's been a long, long time since this thing has been out of the box, covered in rust here. All right, uh, power is on. Let's see what happens. So Mark's 999 with three 10 litho cars, eBay 10 bucks. Here we go. Wow. All right, it runs reverse. It's running forward. Well, the headlight is on. Well, that's running perfectly so far. I have no idea how long this thing's been sitting. It's been sitting for a long time though, that's for sure. All right, let's put this on a uh, consist and we'll put it on, here's my long tin litho. This is 23 cars, I think. All right, so a Marks 999 from eBay, 10 bucks with three tin litho cars. And so far, the only thing I found wrong with it is it's missing the, uh, Lens. Hmm, an interesting model of the 999. All right, let's take this around. We're on track three. 
So focus the camera. Let's see how this goes. Okay, that was reverse, forward. Wow. All right, there's 50% power. I haven't done anything to this engine at all. I haven't even oiled it yet. That is truly amazing. So, 10 bucks on eBay with three 10 litho cars. And that's running just absolutely splendidly. So obviously must, someone must have oiled the motor. Mm, there's oil on the motor, but it doesn't look like it's been recently oiled. Let me see if I can focus this close up. Here we go. It hasn't had a whole lot of run time, but like I said, it's been sitting someplace for a very, very long time. You can see how discolored and uh, coated in oxide the contactor is. The screws are rusty, really rusty. The interesting thing about it, of course, is there's no provision for a front truck. In uh, the 999, there's two holes here where the front trucks pivot. So this is not set up for a front truck. And uh, it has no slides, and yet it's the original motor in this 999. So I'm not exactly sure what Marx was doing when they did this. I don't know if it was just an expedient use of parts, uh, you'd think all the crossbars would have the holes in them. This one does not. And uh, as I said, the Canadian Pacific and the 999 are dimensionally exactly the same. So uh, you can take a motor out of a Canadian Pacific, drop it into a 999, and vice versa. They use exactly the same front crossbar. So I just want to do a quick video on this. Uh, Ten bucks on eBay with three 10 litho cars. Is it perfect? No, it isn't. Uh, the thing is, a bit of cleanup, it, they're all complete, they're all original. Uh, this one is in extremely poor condition. And so I might just uh, take the body off and just use the uh, chassis itself. It's also for a wind-up, as you see, rather than a uh, standard Marx car. So all of it is less than perfect, and yet it wouldn't take much. You can get this cleaned up and uh, have uh, new tin litho rolling stock plus the 999 all of it for 10 bucks i mean you just simply cannot beat that so it's a really really inexpensive way as i keep saying to uh, get into running model trains and again i have to emphasize don't overlook the junk and this thing was 10 bucks with three tin litho cars if it was only used for parts it's worth more than that and here it is running. Is it perfect? No, it isn't. It's far from perfect. But you can paint this with oil. You can touch up this paint in half an hour. Uh, you can have this thing looking more than respectable and very likely have it running like new. It's running great now. So a bit of cleanup, a uh, few drops of oil, get the oxide off the contactor, run it for a while. This thing is going to run just absolutely perfectly. So again, don't overlook the junk. Uh, Marks 999 and three 10 little cars on eBay for $10. So I just wanted to do a quick video on this. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.